Five pairs of hungry eyes watch as the pot boils, doing whatever they can to speed things up. But as the eldest child stirs the pot and the steam rises, the younger children can't help but be grateful for it, savoring every last bite together. Yet though the shared meal fills their bellies, it doesn't quite satisfy their hunger for a proper family. Their grandchildren are all these elderly residents of Mbita in Homer Bay County, have left of their once large family. If they had lived, their son's houses would have stood behind this house. Instead, right behind their house is a stone, a marker for the grave where they buried their firstborn son, a teacher. Ten of their twelve children are dead. Watoto kumi na mbili, unasa. Alafu wanakufa kumi. Na sita, unaenda kama bado kido, kidogo. Unabaki watoto ine. Ine. Moja unaenda na malaria. Na ingine, tatu, ukimi. The remaining two, a son and a daughter, ran off years ago, responding to the call of the lake. Leaving this couple to care for the seven children, their children left. Mimi nasikia sida. Mama unakufa na baba unakufa. Unawacha na nani? Ie nakuja hapa tu. At the age of 86, their grandfather is too frail to work, so five days a week. His 64-year-old wife joins other miners at a quarry two kilometers from home. The days are long, the work hard, and the sound deafening. But at the end of the day... Unapiga mawe, lakini ngufu hakuna. Unapata pesa? Hata silingi miatano, unaenda kununua maidi, unasiaga, unanunua hata mboga, hata mena. Unaweka hapa watoto unakula. Hiyo ndiyo kaka mimi, mimi na, na kana watoto hii. A story that is not theirs alone. It is replicated in other parts of the village. Family members pointing out graves of young parents who died leaving their children with their aging grandparents. Many graves here are unmarked, but every day parents remember the grown children that they have laid to rest and the responsibilities that they now have to take up. In Homa Bay and Kisumu County, we are supporting about 5,000 orphans and vulnerable children. Kenya has a HIV prevalence rate of 6%, with about 1.6 million people living with HIV infection countrywide. The western part of the country, however, is the most affected region, and Homa Bay, with a HIV rate of 25.7%, the most affected county. Currently, as we speak, we have over, I mean, 900,000 people or clients on ALT in this country. And therefore, the orphans that we are now taking care of is before when the prevalence was high, the ALT was not such, I mean, the widespread. So a lot of people died. It's unfortunate that a lot of people died, and therefore they left a lot of orphans and vulnerable children. The government's cash transfer program for the elderly is yet to be launched here. <laughs> Without it, grandparents in their sunset years continue to worry over and care for these children. But they are growing older every day. And the future of the children in their custody stretches out uncertainly. Wilkes Anyabwa, Citizen TV, Homer Bay County.